Next, we have our shrinking effect, which is another very popular one. So for this, let's go back to our Elementor page. So let's disable this one for now. And let's go into style. So for our main menu, so this one that's not sticky, I'm going to add some padding on top and bottom. So I'm going to add maybe 30 and again 30 here. Okay, so you can see there's a bit of spacing all around it. Now let's center our three elements in the middle because at the moment, as you can see, the logo is on top. This menu is in the middle. This one is on top as well. So for this, we're going to click on the column here. And here of the vertical align, we're going to select middle. As you can see, nice, perfectly centered with the other one. And we do the same with this section here in the middle. So that looks perfect now. And now let's address the settings of our sticky menu. So we go back to our navigation menu right here. Instead of menu, we're going to sticky main menu. And this time we're going to address the inner padding. So instead of 30, we're going to leave it 10 and 10. And as you can see, now we'll reduce from 30 to 10. So let's put this to the test. So let's click on update. Let's go back to our home page. As you can see, plenty of breathing space all around it. Now if we scroll down the page, as you can see, the size has been reduced. So this is how you can shrink your menu section.